Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush and this is the first video in the series AZ900. If you are a beginner to cloud or student or from a non-tech background, do not worry about it. I have got you covered. I have tried to create this course as simple as possible from a beginner's point of view. Please watch the video till the very end because I will have uh, some knowledge checks, sample exam questions for you that would be really handy in AZ900 and to understand the concept a little bit better. And uh, I also have an assignment for you, which you can complete it, share it on LinkedIn. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of videos coming in the future. So I will be publishing one video every day. With that being said, let's go ahead with the first video and let's start it. Okay, so this exam AZ900 is broadly categorized into three main topics, cloud concepts, Azure architecture and services, which has all the core services of Azure and Azure management and governance. And if we see the weightage, it's uh, Azure architecture and services around 35 to 40%, Azure management and governance around 30 to 35%, and cloud concepts around 25 to 30%. So cloud concept is the shortest topic, but there'll be a lot of questions from that. So make sure you understand these basics thoroughly. We'll start with this cloud concepts, topics such as what is cloud computing, consumption based model, cloud services types such as IS, PaaS and SaaS, shared responsibility model, and the last two topics define cloud models and benefits of cloud computing. These two topics we will be covering in the next video, which is video number two. And this video will be published on 8th of March. So make sure you watch that video after this. And yes, there'll be one video every day. So do not worry about the, the speed and consistency. Just make sure you understand these videos. They won't be long videos because I'll be publishing daily, but make sure you uh, watch the videos, attempt all the knowledge checks at the end, uh, do the assignments that I give you at the end of every video. So let's start with the very basic. What exactly is cloud computing? Before that, we need to understand why do we actually need it? Imagine you are the owner of a small IT firm and you want to scale your business. However, you would need a large number of resources to make that expansion possible, such as office space, more hardware, more furniture, a lot of people to manage all these and a lot of money for everything. These one-time upfront expenses are also known as capex or capital expenditures. Then you would also have some recurring expenses such as cost of regular hardware maintenance, salaries to employees, electricity bills of the office, monthly building rentals, and so on. These recurring operating expenses are called OPEX or operational expenses. These are nothing but the roadblocks for this expansion and your goal is to minimize your CAPEX and OPEX and build a system that is highly scalable, highly available and fault tolerant, a system with built-in security, and high performance. Enters cloud computing. Cloud computing is a way to access these computer resources and services over the internet instead of having to buy and manage it yourself. Imagine that you need to run a software program to store a large amount of files. Instead of buying that hard disk drive, you rent a storage service such as AWS S3 or Azure storage or GCP blob storage. And it will provide you that access over the internet where you can store your files and make use of it remotely. So buying hardware is old school. Renting hardware is what cloud computing is all about. Now let's talk about the difference between IES, PaaS and SaaS. IES, as the name suggests, infrastructure as a service, PaaS is platform as a service, and SaaS is software as a service. IES gives you full control over the infrastructure resources such as your virtual machine storage. You can rent these resources from a cloud provider and configure them as needed to run your own application. Right? You install your own operating system and you configure all your custom applications you take care of uh, all the management tasks and administrative tasks 
and you have basically the full control over your operating system and your infrastructure. But in PaaS, they will provide you a runtime environment and a platform to deploy your application and development tools. You do not get access to the underlying operating system. You get access to their environment in which you can deploy your application and start using it. In SaaS, they would provide you the application that you can consume directly as an end user. So these uh, software applications that are hosted on cloud and run by the cloud provider, you just use them as the user. In IES, you must take care of all the administrative tasks such as server patching, upgrades, backups. Patching is nothing but making sure all your softwares and your operating system packages are up to date and have all the fixes of uh, security and vulnerability. Um, in PaaS and SaaS, Azure takes care of all your admin tasks, right? So as we said, when you need full control your op over your operating system, you go with IES. When you do not want to take care of all your admin tasks, you go with either PaaS or SaaS. IES models are mostly pay per use. You pay whatever service you use for a particular duration. Services such as Amazon EC2, Azure VMs, or GCP Compute Engine. PaaS models are mostly service based models such as Azure Web App. SaaS models are mostly subscription based such as uh, your Gmail application, your Office 365 subscription, your Dropbox, all these are SaaS application where you do not deploy anything. You just use the application, the standard version of the application. So lift and shift migration is uh, nothing but uh, when you have to move your applications hosted on premises to the cloud infrastructure so that you get all the benefits of cloud, but you do not want to make any changes to your application. So that is called lift and shift. IES would be the ideal choice because you get full control over your operating system and you can customize your application as you need. As model is again the ideal choice where you do not want to take care of your admin task or you do not need the uh, underlying operating system access and you just want to focus on your application deployment and just start using it. SaaS model is the ideal choice when you can use the standard version of a cloud application without making any customizations. Like if you want to use a Google workspace application such as Gmail, you just start using it. You just uh, take the subscription and start using it. You do not deploy your own version of Gmail on top of that. You basically don't have access to do that. So SaaS is the choice in that case. Now, the next one is a shared responsibility model. Shared responsibility model is nothing but an agreement between customer and Microsoft that there are certain responsibilities that will be taken care by Microsoft. There are certain responsibilities that will be taken care by you as the customer and some responsibilities will be shared among both of the parties. So for example, let's say you have an on-prem application. When you work on that, everything from your physical data center, from your physical network, physical host, your operating system, networking, application, everything, right? Everything is taken care by customer. That means you, or if you have hired some third party uh, organization to manage all that, right? So there is nothing that will be taken care by Microsoft or any cloud provider. When you move to IS, you basically do not worry about the physical infrastructure. So all the physical data center, physical network, physical host, these things will be taken care by Microsoft and you can just focus on your operating system and rest of the things at right? your application, your network controls, all of those things. But when you move to PaaS, yes, Microsoft manages your physical aspects of the infrastructure, but they also manages your operating system, right? So this is the main difference between IES and PaaS. In IES, your operating system is managed by you. 
in pass your operating system is managed by azure right and these three responsibilities identity and directory service or like azure active directory and or your applications or your networking control these are the shared responsibilities between you and the customer when you move to saas Right. So again, the physical responsibilities of the infrastructure will be taken care of Microsoft along with the operating system as it was there in past. And on top of that, your application and network control will also be taken care by Microsoft. And you just have to focus on your information data, your devices from which you will be managing the application and your accounts and identities. Like if you are configuring single sign-on or OAuth authentication or like LDAP, anything would be taken care by you only as the customer, right? So make sure you understand the difference between uh, these models. Again, the main questions will be asked is who takes care of your physical infrastructure? Who takes care of your operating system in case of IES, PaaS or SaaS? And when would you choose which type of service models all of these things so make sure you understand these concepts very well okay now time for the knowledge check so you can pause the video here so there are around 10 questions five in this slide five in the next slide pause the video here and pause the video here as well understand these questions try to answer all of them the all the concepts that are there in these questions we have already discussed just now so you should be already familiar with it if not feel free to watch the video again and uh, you will get the idea right even then if you have some difficulties finding answer to these questions or if you have something that is not clear enough so make sure you put that in the comment section below right and on saturday live session we will be discussing all those queries and doubts. So do not worry about it. So I also have an assignment for you, which is the concepts that we have just discussed, like what is cloud computing, cloud service model, consumption based models, all of these topics, just try to write in your own words in a blog, in a LinkedIn post or anything that you feel comfortable with, even with the pen and paper and post it on the social media, tag me, tag AC 900 with Piyush and share your progress with other fellow learners so that we can learn from each other. I will see you tomorrow with the next video uh, in which we will talk about defined cloud models such as uh, private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud and benefits of cloud computing. I hope you have learned something out of it. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family and colleagues. And if you have any doubts, do not worry on the Saturday we will be having a live YouTube session in which we will discuss all of the doubts that you have. Just make sure you enter all your doubts or your queries in the comment section below. And uh, I will try to answer as many as possible. Thank you so much and have a good day.